Hello traders, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use this analysis tool on my screen to trade under 8. All right, I know most of you have requested for this video, so here it is. Now, how do you um, use this analysis tool to trade under 8? First of all, the analysis tool is found on a website called dbtraders.com. All right, now once you go to the website, you come to this part here labeled analysis tool. Now, once you're there, now it is time for you to start setting up your screen. Now, if you have a laptop, you split it like this. One part of the screen ha, um, is logged in into derive.com. The other part is logged in into dbtraders.com. If you do not have a laptop or a computer, you can use your phone. Whereby in one phone, you have logged in into derive.com. On the other phone, you are logged in into dbtraders.com. All right. Uh, so, okay. So that is okay for everyone. Now, once you're finished setting up your screen like this, now it is time for your analysis. Now, how do you proceed um, trading under 8? So, you come to this part here, the analysis tool. First of all, always ensure this price here, the one I've highlighted, is always changing. In case you see it is stagnant like this, just come up here and reload the entire screen. Alright? Yeah, because if it is stagnant, you will end up um, using um, stack data to analyze your market, which you do not want. Now, once you reload, you give the website some time to... To basically initialize so that is what i'm doing so i'm giving it some time to basically um initialize the entire platform so let us see all right as it is initializing another thing um whenever it comes to your bot ensure you have already set uh ensure you always set this part in advance let me show you you see this part here the category labeled run once at start ensure the stop loss target profit initial amount is always set in advance all right yeah ensure you come and set everything properly in advance even before you trade right ensure everything is set ensure you've already set your initial amount your win amount your martingale and ensure you use one tick well always use one tick when it comes to your bot all right yeah once you've already set this part the only thing remaining now is to set the trade type and the contract type now once the site has initialized uh you come just up here uh, let me scroll you come and select analysis tool once you select um analysis tool like that now that now you are okay as you can see now the price is moving now as i've said if you're trading under eight one thing that you should ensure is that you should ensure please listen carefully seven and nine are both below 10.5 percent and then you ensure eight is below 9.5 percent i repeat if you're trading under eight ensure seven and nine are below 10.5 percent and ensure 8 is below 9.5%. So it can be 9.5, 9.4, 9.3 going downwards. Okay. Once that is satisfied, the other thing that you should ensure is that you should ensure the green circle is 2 to 3 numbers away from you. What do I mean? The green circle should either be on, uh, should not be on 6, sorry, should not be on 6 or 7. It should either be on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or 0. Basically, you want this green circle to be as far away from us as possible because the two numbers on the right and the two numbers of the on the left of the green circle end up being predicted a lot of times. So if the green circle is too close to us, 8 might end up being predicted and that can put us in a very bad place, okay? So that is why we say the green circle should be as far away from us as possible. The red circle does not affect us in any way, so the positioning of the red circle should not stress you in any way. Your eye should only be on the green circle, okay? That is what can make or break your profits. Now, once you see all those conditions have aligned, the only thing remaining now is to trade. Now, you surely come and look at this percentage. In case it has an increase, you run your bot. In case it has a... Uh, yeah, so what will determine if you run your bot is this. Let's say you have identified this percentage right now is 90.5. In case it goes to 90.6, you run your bot. All right? Or in case it goes to 90.6, then it goes to 90.7, you run your bot. All right. In case you notice now it is having a large decrease of more than 0.2%, let's say it was at 90.5, it goes to 90.4, 90.3, you have to stop your bot, okay? Yeah, because that is to show you that the something is happening in the market, which if you end up ignoring, can become very costly towards your account, all right? Now, let me try and find uh, one, of the, one of the markets so that I can show you um, practically. Um, let me look. So this is where you usually change the volatility. Uh, this one is not good example like this one awesome as you can see here i'm um, sorry eight is at 9.5 that is awesome nine is at 9.5 again awesome it is below 10.5 seven is below 10.5 everything is beautiful the green circle is far away from us as possible so the first thing that you do is come to your board and set the set it to volatility 10 1s like that and then you come and set to under 
and then you come and set to under 8, right? So I'll set 8 right here. Once you set it like that, you are okay. So turn one S under 8. Now after that, you wait for, for the signal, right? So you can either wait for this percentage to start increasing or you can wait for this ticker, the red triangle to land on 8 and then you press run, all right? Or you press under if you're trading manually. But okay, so you can wait. And again, another thing I've forgotten, if you're trading under 8, this percentage should always be above 90%. In case you see this percentage has gone to below 90%, it signifies to you something is happening in the market, power is moving away from under 8. So it is usually a sign not to enter the market at that particular point. Okay? If you're using the analysis tool and you just see the percentage of under 8 is now going below 90%, it signifies to you, hold on, something is happening. If you enter right now, bad things might happen. Alright? Yeah, like here. So if you notice it has lost power, like in this example, you have just to wait or you look for another market because if you decide to just run even though the market is not good things might go really wrong all right yeah so that is usually one of the ways in which you look at it let me continue and look for a market the good thing about the review is that they have given us so many options to choose from you don't have you don't have to stick to one particular volatility you can always shift and move through uh this volatility is quite comfortably okay all right let us try and look for a good under eight market and that eight is one of the best markets to trade, regardless of the account size you have. Whether you have a big account, a small account, an intermediate, uh, sorry, an intermediate account, and that eight will serve you really, really well. Okay. Awesome. Let me try and find one. So this is ninety. Let me check out right ninety one S and see how it is pairing. Oh, that was not good for us. I got one hundred one S. Uh huh. One hundred one S is not bad, but the bad thing is that eight is. Too strong here okay as i've told you it should be 9.5 9.4 going downwards but if it is too strong stronger than even seven and nine it shows you the market is favoring it over these two numbers and that can lead to your profits being highly highly reduced so you have to become really careful in that aspect okay awesome this is 10 s which is really good uh okay this is where you are uh, you are at right now so i can see 10 s everything is beautiful the problem is that you're having is that you are you're basically waiting for this percentage to have an increase because every time it is below 90, it shows you, as you can see, a lot of overtrades are appearing. That is because it is losing a lot of its power, okay? And if you're trading under 8, just ensure this percentage is more than 90 for your safety. It is not a must. In, I, I've always told people, especially students in my class, um, the strategies that you use in the river, it is not a must for you to use them. Even if you do not use them, you might have a chance of making profits, but... The chance of you incurring a loss will be much higher. So the strategies that we use basically help us minimize the chance of us incurring unnecessary losses. Okay, there, is, there are some losses which you cannot avoid, but there are some losses that are very, very un, uh, unnecessary. All right, losses which you, if you could have been careful, you could have been able to avoid them quite, quite well. All right, so you have to become really careful in that particular aspect. Yeah, so like here, as you can see, this one has lost uh, away all, all its power. So this one is a bit too dangerous for us. And you have to become really strict to it, all right? And you have to ensure all the conditions are perfectly aligned. If you decide to force a trade, things might go badly, okay? You have to become really patient and ensure everything is aligned properly before you even proceed, okay? Yeah, like here, this one could have been a good market, but 8 is too strong and the under percentage is too weak. So automatically, we are out. Right, what you can do is that you can keep on shifting between the volatilities, trying to look for a good one. Because the good thing about volatilities is that they usually change per second, they are very quick to change. So, by the time you go around all their volatilities, you might find that the market that was bad has now become good. Okay, awesome. So, okay, you cannot be able to find a good one, but in case you want to see the life practicality of this strategy, please ensure you join our live streams. Yeah, we usually have um, a live stream at, in the evening at between. Uh, I uh, usually start between 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's African time. So please ensure you join us during that time so that you see us applying this strategy in real life, okay? Um, In real time, all right? Yeah, I'll be showing you that strategy because right now I can see the market is not aligning. Please ensure you join our live streams. I'll be showing you this strategy in full depth. But for those who are asking about the explanation, I hope you have gotten the points. Always use one tick when it comes to your bot. For the analysis tool when you're analyzing, again, I've forgotten. And ensure you use one of those antiques, okay? Yeah, and uh, that is basically how you use this analysis tool to trade. Please join us on our live streams. You'll be able to see us trading live. Please ensure you subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this video and share to anyone who you know trades in the Rive so that they are aware of this particular strategy. But from that, guys, thank you for being here. Please ensure you join our live streams. You'll be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Good luck and cheers.